Hi, I'd like to perform a, a demonstration terminating the LMR240 cable with our EZ style connectors. What you want to do is first, when you get started, you want to cut the cable nice and clean. You don't want to crush the cable with a nice sharp cut on the outer conductor. This is our CCT03 cutting tool. Very easy to use, no technique involved. Spring loaded. What you do is just bring the tool a couple inches back from the end of the cable, as such. Take your finger, place it in a hole. Just spin the tool around the cable. Cuts the cable nice and square without crushing it. For our, our, all our X-Series connectors, we have these boots, Strain Relief IP67 rated boots, WSB boots. Take a little drop of silicone lubricant, which, which we sell. Take the boot, place it onto the cable, and just slide it back a little bit. Take your crimp ferrule, slide your crimp ferrule over the cable. Take your tool. This is the CST-240 crimp tool. Pop it into side one, and then press down on the thumb switch while you're turning it. Once that thing bottoms out, make an extra revolution or two. Keep it depressed and pull it. it. Takes that whole pellet right off the center conductor. And the beauty is, if you use a tool such as this to cut it, that center conductor remains nice and straight and there's no burrs. Because what you did, all you did was you, you basically scribed the center conductor. You didn't, you didn't cut it, you didn't burr it. So you don't, it doesn't even, any small core cables, it doesn't even need to be deburred. You flip the tool around the side too. You have a straight and a right angle option. Make sure it's set for straight. Place the tool over the cable and just let the tool do the work. Spin it until it spins freely, just like that. And you're all set to go at that point. Take the braid wires, just fan them back a little bit from the outer conductor. This connector is an easy connector, spring finger. No soldering, it's gold plated, beryllium copper, designed for optimized contact. Place it over the, the outer conductor, nice snug fit. Push it and turn it. You'll feel it right up on the center conductor. Now you bring that ferrule up. Like, just like that. And you want to take a 255 hex crimp die. You can use our, uh, call our CST 100, 185, 240 tool. And you want to crimp it just once, right at the very back of the connector, like so. You don't want to crimp it a second time. You end up crushing the jacket, crushing the core. Put a, just a little drop of silicone lubricant here since it dries so quickly. You take the boot and you slide it up and you might even hear it lock in place there. But there's ribs on the back of the connector. There's ribs molded into the boot. They lock in place, create a nice weather, uh, strain relief and also an IP67 weather seal. Thank you.